I lost a whole year of my his life. A whole year. Gone. Six inches of growth, non-existent. Gone. Vanished. Today's scripture. Don't ignore it. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Hebrews 3, verse 13. You have clicked on this video because you are finding a way to be dissuaded from the natural hair community or you just not enjoying your journey and you just want to find ways to f for all the cons this is not the video for you or if you're negative just click off because this is not the video for you but if you are a natural hair girly or you really want to become natural and there's so much information out there that it's just overwhelming for you and you just don't know where to start this is the playlist for you so let's just put a little few disclaimers because i need to have disclaimers because i have issues and I just need to put it out there so that this video can make sense to you. My God, who the hell cares? One, I'm looking to the side for two reasons. My camera seems to only want to record 10 minutes at a time. And I still have not figured out what is the reason. <laughs> Are you stupid or something? Number two, I'm looking to the side because I need to look at my pointers. I have a very bad problem or very bad disability where I tend to just start the topic and just move. Like, I tend to go off on another tangent and then I lose the point of the video or I lose track of where we are. So I'm going to look to my side because I'll start moving and then I'm like, oh shit, what are we speaking about again? And then I try to come back and then I need to start the recording all over again. So I'm going to be better. What? This claim is out of the way. Hydration. First and foremost, just a quick little backstory, right? I started my natural hair journey in 2021. I s discovered the natural hair community in October 2020. And then I was just like, I'm going natural. Every time I, I start this topic, so I start a video, I, I want to try and find the person that introduced me to the natural hair community and I don't know who it is and I'm so sorry, I wish I could find you, I promise you. My memory of the natural, of discovering the natural, is a girl with damaged hair, like mine, that had damaged hair and then she just had waist length, coily, luscious, healthy, shiny and i fell in love and i never went back so i'm gonna in my video here i've mentioned my favorites i don't want to go on i don't want to mention them again because i'm gonna start running on a tangent and then i'm gonna forget the point of this video so i found them they've been there this was me before i went natural right this is me this is what my hair looked like this was me for 30 some years this is what my hair looked like and <laughs> this is not a natural hair journey video but me discovering that video or just discovering the natural hair community was the best thing that ever happened to me like i would never not be natural i know they say never say never but putting chemicals on my hair to have straight hair is something I just, uh, there's no desire for me. Like, I always thought, like, if I ever reach waist length, will I blow out my hair? Will I straighten my hair? Mm, I did a blowout, this one. And the anxiety that I had from that was... <sighs> oh, it, a, a couple of months. Like, I, had, I did a couple of wash and goes, and I was just seeing damage everywhere. From a blowout, not even a proper, you know, that straight pull it from the root kind of blowout. It was just to have my hair straight so that I can trim my hair. That was just me. But it gave me anxiety, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know if I ever will. Maybe if I, I, I think I will maybe straighten my hair the day I want to do a big chop again. Because I, just a little side note, I must not enjoying my big chop. I just big chop because I wanted a big chop. I didn't big chop because I wanted to enjoy my big chop. 
I big chop for the sake of starting from scratch. So you're like, okay, so why are you stopping the natural hair advice? Like, what is the point of this video? Hmm. Oh, let me just take you a little bit back. In 2022, I discovered mini braids. Oh, that was the best ever. Like, the second best to going natural, right? So when I discovered mini braids, this is me, June 2022, to... You know, this is a year later. I don't have any pictures of now, but I'll, we will start doing pictures. Um, this is me a year later. So, Mini Base for me is the GOAT. It's the one. Of all the protective styles, she's just like number one. Like, she'll always sit in number one, even though she does have her cons, which I can only think of one con, but she'll always be number one. She'll sit on the throne for me. Okay. So, if you are on your Mini Braid journey or just your protective style journey, we all start somewhere. So, you not stick to it baby just stick to it okay so i went on my mini braid journey had great progress within a year and i was like mm, let's step it up a notch and i decided to go on another mini braid journey a one-year mini braid journey where for every two months i'll be trying out i tried out a new product that said it made your hair grow no god please no 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 Worst mistake ever. Worst mistake ever. My hair broke off. And then I stopped it in August or November of this. I did it for like five or six months and then I just stopped because I was like, mm -mm. my hair broke off. Like it just, it wasn't, it, I did a lot of things wrong. If you want me to do a video on mistakes, I will. I've made mistakes. Like, okay, yeah, Bianca, we've had it all. What? What are you on about? So what we'll be doing here now is I came across my video. This one. Right? The beginning of the mini braid, one year mini braid protect the style challenge where I tried a new growth product every two months. That one? Mm -hmm, that one. Mm. This video popped up. And this was where I started. And I was like, ooh, I know. So I know that there's breakage. I was well aware of that. And it's all explained in this video. But this is where we are now. So I lost a whole year of my his life. A whole year. Gone. Six inches of growth, non-existent. Gone. Vanished. Which brings us to today. Where I'm taking all that advice from all my favorite natural hair girlies and all the gurus of the world. And I'm putting it in a box. And we're starting from scratch. I'm not throwing it away. I'm not not doing it. There's no way I'm not going to not do it. But I'm putting it all in a box and we're starting from scratch. So I was thinking the best way for me to start from scratch is on a clean slate. My clean slate needs a foundation. So my foundation, well, the foundation in general for just natural hair, healthy hair, is one, sulfate, paraben, mineral, and silicone-free products. Two, my hair should not be touching anything that's not satin, silk, or microfiber towel. And three, deep conditioning my hair. For me, a deep condition is every week because I just have to. It worked for me and there's, I, there's no need for me to not do it. And then four would be tucking away my ends. My ends should not be touching anything. And then five, a protective style chat, a protective style. So... The protector style for me that I'm choosing, and comment down below of what your favorite protector style is, is the mini braids. Like, duh, you could just say that, duh. Yes. But I'm just changing it up a, a, a bit because I'm going half cornrows, half mini braids. And the reason why it's going to be half cornrows, half mini braids is because the only con, like I mentioned, of a mini braid is the takedown. And this top of my hair, of my head, has the most hair. Like from here to here, when I braid my hair from here to here, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But the takedown, Lord have mercy on my soul. The takedown for a mini braid, and I like my mini braids. I like those. <laughs> so, I'm not doing like that. So that's the only thing about mini braids that I just... Mm. I, but I still fight for you. She'll always be number one. If you want me to do a video on mini braids versus mini twists, I will be more than willing to do a video for you. 
it will be more biased towards mini braids <laughs> not really because mini twists i think do like in the natural hair world if you click on a video mini twists beat and i know why but for overall purposes mini braids are just numero uno or if you think mini twists beats mini braids let me know let me know how you feel for me a clean slate is maximally hydrated hair a protective style and trimming my ends like once i have those with my satin silk or microfiber towel and good products once i have those i'm good to go i am good to go so what we want for the month of august for this month is just to figure out what your actual growth rate is so once you figure out what your growth rate is you now know what whatever you're going to do in your next so if you're following me then you'll know what is working for you and what is not working for you and what is causing your breakage so i'm going to now go and do my maximum hydration oh this is gonna be a journey and a half do you know how long it takes to do a maximum hydration like if you and mine is not even just like the step by step by the book maximum hydration this is me putting on the clay and then deep conditioning like those two steps washing my hair putting on the clay then deep conditioning and i'm done but it's not like the step step so if you want me to do a full maximum hydration like a proper number one from the che um, cherry lola right to the end i will do one for you but we'll do it on our next break takedown or the month after oh the level of not ready for this maximum hydration that i'm at right now is a bit much <laughs> but i need to do it because i need a proper clean slate so let's go two thousand years later okay my hair is washed so little side note the best way to have a successful anything managing your hair day might be a wash day specifically a maximum hydration day you need to have these few things 20 million hair dams detangling tools whichever works for you i need a new tangle teaser because mine has lost some of its teeth which is not a very good thing to have when you detangling your hair so that's why i brought out both just in case i start feeling snaggy now use the unbrush clips clean water warm water preferably i just like warm water and the reason why i'm using water is because doing it on just dry hair is just not and then the star of the show your clay so my texture that i like it needs to be smooth can you say okay so it's like smooth smooth and then I like it to be not, it's this not thick, it looks thick, but it's like smooth, if that makes sense. Like it's just a smooth texture. Okay, step number one for a successful anything. So after you have your products, step number one divide into 1000. 171 sections <laughs> i'm joking um into sections i work in four sections and in that sections i divide into more sections and please be gentle with your hair because if you are rough with your hair when you're putting this on you're gonna get breakage i can't see this hair in my eye Section one, where's three? Get it on my head. There we go. Section number two. The last two things you're going to need a good movie to keep you entertained and some. I 
hydration for the body. Well, just a little side note, work in small sections when you're putting this on because, yeah, in a bunch of sections it's not getting the product all over. I think, and I just think it like causes breakage. thousand years later i just need to start off every video with a disclaimer so what had happened first and foremost i hope that you guys can't hear the noise that's going on your outside because it's loud if you do i'm sorry i really need to get this video done so disclaimer number one is the noise and number two i had a whole fat conversation not conversation i had a whole talk and didn't realize that my mic wasn't on so we here we are finally at the end of the clean slate video we're starting from scratch my hair is trimmed it's maximally hydrated so i'm just gonna move over to what i was recording in the beginning of this end video um and then i'll just explain to you what, is, what i was talking about kind of what i did was i only measured the bangs and my left and my right ear the reason why i didn't me measure the back was because <sighs> I want a like a specific place to measure every time, right? So I decided that I'm going to finish braid my hair and then I'm going to get into the measurements with the back. So it's the mid, left and right and then my nape. Let's get into it. I just, I wanted to just do a, like a little bit of, last little bit of soak in of the moisture. It's so thin, like I didn't expect it to be so thin, but it's very thin which is okay i guess i'll just do it a little bit thicker next time okay so what i did was let me just get a hairband i took where is it now yeah okay the measurement for the middle is going to be right behind my ear so just right on top like can you see like here right so it's that piece and then this piece so it's both on the same end so that's going to be our measuring points so this is that one. And then my like I really hope you guys can't hear this noise. I really hope so. So let me unravel this real quick. Let's begin. So before the trim, it was 32 centimeters on the left mid. Twenty-eight. Don't shoot up. Twenty-eight. Right? So that's a lot. That was like four centimeters that I cut off. Let's move on to the right side, yes. The right side was 30 centimeters. So 30 centimeters. Okay, so I didn't cut much on the side. Okay. And then the knife. You know, I was thinking, I'm thinking about it now actually. I was just overthinking this whole thing. And let's move on. Please stay down. Don't be like that. I know you want to be all coily and curly because you're highly, maximally hydrated. But please don't do that. There we go. Oh, sure. We cut now. It was 27.5. So it's 27 straight on the dot. Okay. And then it went off again. So you see, this is really happening to me. <laughs> For the month of August, all I'm going to be doing is keeping my hair in my half cornrows, half mini braids. My hair will be in a pony 24-7, either like this, or if I am 
gonna be a little bit more psychotic. It'll be literally like that. Like I want my ends not to touch anything. So I'm hoping to only need to rebraid this every second week. My wash day routine will be alternating between clarifying shampoos and moisturizing shampoos. My deep conditioners will happen every week and I will do one protein deep conditioner, deep condition in the month and seal with oil. I'm not going to be pre pooing I'm not going to be putting oil in my scalp, just sealing with oil. And that's the plan for this month because all we really want to do is find out what is the actual growth rate and the best way to do that is to keep my ends away and my hair moisturized i am finally at the end of this video lord have mercy out of my soul it might be a really bad video and i'm sorry guys it'll get better next month i promise because this was just not working for me <laughs> So if you're joining this journey with me, comment down below journey and tell me what is going to be your routine for this month. So that when we do our results, we can discuss it. Maybe we'll get some ideas from each other. So I'll see you guys in my next one.